Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. And every February, we take some time to step back and check in on how we're taking care of ourselves. Joining me this morning from the Yukon Heart Failure Center is Dr. Jason Ryan. Good morning. Thanks for being here. I always think with February, people think about red hearts and Valentines, but it really is also Awareness Month and time to think that's about right. the heart that's beating in your chest. Right? Yeah, of course. No, it's a good time to look at your heart and see how healthy it is. Because that's quite a statistic that that's yeah. the leading cause of death in this country. Yeah, no, uh, a lot of people think it could be cancer, and cancer is certainly important, but heart disease is a big problem in the United States. So we're going to talk about some things. We're going to put up our first graphic, and we're going to talk about what the uh, what the risks are, right? So let's see here. You can uh, go over some of them. This is preventing heart disease. So these are some of your suggestions. Right? Yeah. So uh, a lot of people come to see a heart doctor like me or even their regular doctor, and they want to know how they avoid getting heart disease, especially people who have a family history of maybe a father, or brother, or mother who had heart disease at an early age. And it's natural to think, especially in a modern world, that we have some kind of perfect test that could say you're at risk and do something or next week this will happen. But unfortunately, we're really not at that point right now. And the things that you can do if you want to avoid getting heart disease are the good old-fashioned stuff. I, I always Eat tell healthy. my patients, mm -hmm. right, the power's really in your hands, not mine. You know, eat healthy, exercise, don't smoke. These because, are the ways to lower your risk. Right, because you hear about, you know, some 35-year-old healthy person all had dropped out of a heart attack jogging. Right. I've, I know people, and it's right. like, my gosh, that can really happen. Right, no, it can. It's true. So those are the things. Now, there's also signs, right, right. to yeah, look so, for. Right, so if, if you're worried that you may actually have heart disease now, the things you want to work, look for are uh, chest pain. People often describe it not so much as pain, but a discomfort, like someone pressing on their chest, especially when you exercise or do something exertional. When you work hard, you make your heart work hard, and if it's sick, it will tell you. Uh, other you signs are here something. on the screen here. People can have shortness of breath. Uh, sometimes the pain radiates to the arm, and those other symptoms on the screen can be there as well, too. But the, really, the thing that really should tip you off and make you go to your doctor right away is any type of chest discomfort, especially when you're exerting yourself. And the thing that interested me is I was reading that women sort of have heart attacks differently than men, and sometimes it gets misdiagnosed because you see in the movies and you know the person grabs their right. arm and all that but I was reading that women they can get jaw pain and they can mm. get abdominal upset and and sometimes it's thought to be something else is that true? that's true no it's true yeah the studies have shown that the symptoms in women can be less typical than they are in men so you know maybe uh, men more often have the classic sort of squeezing their chest clutching the Fred Sanford sign yeah, exactly. I'm dating myself by yeah. mentioning that TV show <laughs> but uh, but uh, women will more often have signs like their shoulder may hurt or their jaw may hurt or something like that yeah so anything like that especially but again with exertion because the same yeah. rules apply to women when you work hard your heart works hard so any symptom brought on by that should be a red flag and then we're gonna have a last graphic to put up and those are the risk factors and some of these are obvious but one of them wasn't I see you have there the high cholesterol the diabetes, the diabetes. Obesity, right. high blood pressure, lack of exercise, cigarette smoking is obvious, but sleep apnea, yeah. tell me about that. So sleep apnea is a condition where when people sleep, their throat actually intermittently closes off their airway, and they may not realize it, but they'll wake up multiple times during the night. This is often noticed by a partner, because people who have this problem will snore and move around a lot in their sleep. So when that's happening, you're actually cutting off your air supply mm -hmm. multiple times per night. So the main symptom people will have is they'll be exhausted during the day because they'll think they have slept but they really haven't. However, if this goes on, it stresses the heart and it puts you at risk for a lot of heart conditions. So untreated sleep apnea is definitely a, a, a thing that can lead to heart disease. And if you think you might have that, you should get checked for there's a simple test called a sleep study that can diagnose it and it's a treatable condition. Well, this is great information. We're glad to have you on. Hopefully one little bit of advice could helpfully save somebody's life. I hope so. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And we are going to be right back.